All right, what's up everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to today's second blog. Here to give you a scout report on Eli Harold, the outside linebacker coming out of Virginia. Now I've been looking at a little uh, other uh, scout reports and looking at others draft boards and some people actually have them skyrocketed into the late first round or into the second round of this year's draft. I've been watching more of his tape and I'm starting to see what other people are saying, but I still have a different opinion about this particular player. Now, now, he's actually from the state of Virginia, and he did come um, hailing from Virginia Beach, and he was the number one player in high school, coming out of high school in the state of Virginia, and he actually decided to stay home and play as a Cavalier. Now, during his three-year stint for the Cavaliers, he had 36 and a half tackles for loss and 17 and a half sacks during the course of his career. Now, it's time for me to talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First, his strengths. He does a pretty good job rushing off the edge and doing good Good job with his angles and getting to the quarterback. Also, he's pretty slick and slippery, which he could actually slip slip through creases and seals to get to the quarterback, which is a good thing. Now, another thing I do like about him is his size to play the outside linebacker position. He's six foot three, 247 pounds, great chiseled, muscly, muscular athlete, and I think he'd become a decent addition for a team in the National Football League. All the strengths that he does have, he's pretty strong. He had a great workout in his scouting combine workout. 24 reps at 225 pounds. Also, what, they, what really boosted up his draft status was his 40 time, a 4-6-40. That is excellent speed that you want your outside linebacker to have. I think he could possibly wreak havoc in that line of scrimmage, but we will see. Now, he does have some weaknesses, though. Now, his num one thing, his numbers aren't wow numbers as far as the sack totals. Now, he does have good um, um, tackles for loss, which shows that he could become a good run stuff on um, defensive end or outside linebacker. But also, talking about defensive end, He's a little bit too small to play a 3-4 defensive end. I can see him more used as an outside linebacker, and he still has some things that he needs to learn about to play the position in full at outside linebacker. Another thing he needs to work on is his cover skills. He needs to not only be effective as a pass rusher, but even sometimes help out in the pass defense <clears throat> And stepping back to become a good pass cover player, to be a better all-around athlete that um, a team would want him to be. He definitely has to have a good workout. He does have the materials to become to become an outside linebacker player. But now I see a lot of people are actually projecting him in the first round. I actually project him in the late second round of this year's draft. He's still a great player, but I cannot boost him up into the first round. He did have a great workout, but the numbers aren't good enough for me to even slip him into the first round. But he's still a great athlete and he couldn't be a good addition in the team in the National Football League. <clears throat> now the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be in just a couple of seconds. I'm going to give you a couple more scout reports for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man the Kingdom Call. Be easy.